Hey, hello everyone, welcome at the field. I'm out for a, a hunt and I got my first find here. It was um, 79 to 81. But it's kind of mucky, so I tried to wipe it. Can't see much on it. So it'll have to wait until I get home. I really can't see it, sorry. <laughs> Okay, see you at the next. Okay, I got my next find here. It was a very jumpy signal. And I think it's a watch winder. It's very small. It's nice. Oh, and there it goes. Uh, somewhere. Okay. Well, we'll see it at a roundup. Moving on. Okay, so we got our next one. It was right on the surface. It's another coin, I think. But it's uh, very, very grotty. I won't get anything of that now. We'll see when it's cleaned up. It's probably something bronze. Because I only got like a 60 signal. Yeah, there it is. On to the next. Okay, get my next find here. I think it's right on the surface. Big, big musket ball. Yeah. Yeah, it must be that. I'll recheck, but uh, 68, 69. A round ball. On to the next. Okay, we got the next one. And I think it's a little coin again. Hmm, hard to say if there's gonna be anything on it, but there it is. Yep. Moving on. Hey, hello everyone. Welcome at the roundup. So uh, I didn't film much in the hunt, but I had a lot of uh, uh, chats with um, with Philip who I was uh, out detecting so uh, this is the tin can trash and then we got some iron bits and pieces some modern bits and pieces piece of slag and then this has Venus on it I hope I can uh, focus it. it says Venus don't know what it is you know this Looked a lot like a uh, silver hammered in the field, but it isn't obviously, but yeah, some plant fertilizer. Uh, some copper wire, and then a few pieces of lead. This was probably part of a bag seal, or a cloth seal, linen. And then we got two uh, pieces of uh, buckshot, that's the lead. And then I had this curious um, tap, so, well, I think it's some sort of a tap, you know, with a hole in here and then, you know, like this, open, close, but what exactly it's from, hmm, I don't know, if you got any ideas, let me know, I have no clue what it is, and then we got, oh yeah, we got uh, some pottery, big pottery you can't see it in this light but it has this uh, uh, yellow glazing on it actually has some yellow tint to it but in this light it's hard to show you that and this one like a big piece then we got some bullets and bullet tips bow tips and then uh, a crushed one uh, I don't know which one it was, but I think, yeah, I think this one here is a German one. Oh, there's the focus. It's 1918. Where is it? Well, it's somewhere here, but it's definitely a German one, 1918. This one has a full date on it. Uh, but where? Oh right there on top 
you can see 1941 try to well, I can't point it out there on top it says 1941 1941 unfired and then we got this one um, no idea what it is few pieces of shrapnel so uh, that's brass shrapnel and then we got a lead shot and point 22 I think and a few musket balls pistol balls so not very big half of a musket ball and then the more rifle sized ones and then this one has a bit of the casting nipple on it and then this one has a big part of it so pretty happy with that I actually only got a few of these so uh, very happy to get one and then we got some buttons so yeah this is a clock pin these are buttons nothing really special on them and these have the shank that you know they're just blank buttons nothing on them um, the pocket watch winder that's always nice to get a little pocket watch winder then um, I got actually a piece of silver because I thought it was tin can but it's actually pretty strong and heavy the back side was made of like iron I think and then they made a silver piece on top of that so if I can show that has a bit of decoration like a decorative line on top there yeah um, and then a broken little buckle size of a well the shape of an eight like that a little um, uh, well I don't know like a rivet something rivety and then this I think that this is actually some sort of a weight should have two of these little things here like a bucket very small <clears throat> and then some coins um, yeah these are all well blank corroded two bits but then I got two good ones this one this one has I'll show you this this one has like the crest on it, the crown and then you got the water and it has a standing line in it but I will show a better one but this is a Zeelandia dirt, copper dirt 1700s you can see it, it says Z and then L-A-N Zeeland Dia and the date is there I know it's 17, it's 17 this is a 4 but the top of it should go down a bit more and this is a 7 so it's 1747 it's nice it's readable <laughs> that's already good and then I got the last one which was actually my first coin I found and I cleaned this one because uh, I could see it was really sharp look at that a lion scent and now you can actually see the lion because uh, usually I don't get them like this it says union makes strength and then you get even the uh, writing on the block itself so it is leaning on a block two cents and then Brandt that's the, the maker of this coin unity makes strength and the other side has a big A on it I'll put it down the other side here has a big stylized A on it you can see like that and then it says Albert King of the Belgians and the date is 1912 and I usually get these line scents like this 
so completely corroded so if you get one like this you're pretty happy with it and I am I'm really really happy with that didn't have one from Albert and the line look at that very nice little coin but I rarely rarely get them good so yeah this one was worth cleaning okay that was it I think I had everything here yep yeah. so yeah that was a, a nice day out with uh, Philippe thank you Philippe and uh, well I'll see you guys soon for a new hunt bye bye